Number three, you don't need to be lectured on this. Just watch Bola Chinibu on the stage or anywhere. Tremor on the hands. Instability on the legs. The whole body is shaking. Look at the back of his abaga, misturating weight. Can I continue? Give me your silence, please. If he walks 10, 15 meters, what do you see? Palpitation. To sit down is a problem. To stand is a problem. To frustrate for prayers is a problem. That is to tell you that uh, he is not physically and mentally healthy. We have seen the danger of electing unhealthy presidents in Nigeria. If you know the amount, we one day will come to know the amount of money spent on our presidents on their health requirements. I'm sure it's going to be mind-boggling. Mind-boggling. The amount is going to run into unbelievable figures. One day the figure will come to limelight. We want a healthy president. A stable president. A president with stable mind. A president who is healthy, fully oriented to time, people and places. We want a president whose background, whose genealogy, whose male and female parents are well known to everybody around. We don't want somebody with questionable background, doubtful background, questionable genealogy. We want a president whose education, whose background, whose genealogy, whose male and female parents are well known to everybody around. We don't want somebody with questionable background, doubtful background, questionable genealogy. We want a president whose educational record are clear and very Christian and discernible, with no question marks. We want a president who will hang the face of Moses and have the heart of Moses. Not a president who will hang the face of Moses, but hanging the heart of Pharaoh. We want a president who is not being accused of quotient peddling. It's not my words. It's all over the world. We want a president whose international record are clean. Because to be accused of international quotient peddling means you are a quotient fisher, you are a quotient peddler, your source of wealth is doubtful, is questionable, is tainted in maroon, dark, and dark blue color. We want a president, wherever he goes in Nigeria, is home. Is home. Ask Tinebu, when you go to Kassana, who will accommodate you? Everybody will be running away from him. In Sokoto, why is he accommodating? In Sokoto, is a bar in Kenya. In Kenya, he will be accommodated by the dollar receiving governor. But in substantial part of Nigeria, he is not home. A stranger, unknown to the communities, you don't want a stranger to be your president. You don't want a stranger who doesn't know about your feelings to be your president. He will abandon you, not midway, right at the beginning. 